we're going to find the limit of x times sine x minus 1 over 2x squared minus x minus 1 as x approaches 1. Now, if you use direct substitution, if you plug in 1 for x, you're going to get 1 times sine 1 minus 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. So sine 0, which is 0. So you're going to have 0 in the numerator divided by 2 times 1 is 1. Um, sorry, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1, 0. So you're going to have an indeterminate form of 0 over 0. So L'Hopital rule does apply here. So we go ahead and start with the limit as x approaches 1, taking the derivative of the numerator. Now, if you notice here, what we have is product. So you're going to use the product rule. Okay. So the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So let's go ahead and do that. The derivative of x is 1. 1 times sine x minus 1 is sine x minus 1 plus x times the derivative of sine x minus 1. The derivative of sine x minus 1 is cosine x minus 1. The derivative of the inside here is simply 1. So we don't have to write anything. Or if you want to put 1 here, that's fine too. Divided by the derivative of the denominator. So the derivative of 2x squared is 4x minus the derivative of x is 1. And this is 0. If you want to put 0 here, you can do that. Now, um, what do we have here? We Can we apply, uh, can we plug in 1 for x? We can use direct substitution here. Let's go ahead and try to do that. So if we plug in 1, 1 minus 1, that's 0. Sine 0 is simply 0. So let me write it here. Sine 1 minus 1, which is 0, plus 1 times cosine 1 minus 1 over 4 times 1 minus 1. So let's see. Sine 0 is 0, uh, plus cosine 0, that's 0. Cosine 0 is simply 1. 1 times 1 is 1 over 4 minus 1. That's 1 over 4 minus 1 is 3. I hope you find this video helpful. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.